Bandsaw boxes, like the one we have right here, are fun to build and they make interesting and unique gifts. I hope after you see how easy this one is to build that you might want to design one of your own. Of course, you can always build this one from the downloadable PDF that we have that goes along with this video. Now, bandsaw boxes almost always start out with big chunks of wood, like this glued up scrap that we have right here. But it might not be clear how you get to form-fitting drawers with big openings from a big chunk of wood like this. Well, that's what I'm here to show you today. Let's get started. Now, if you're going to make a bandsaw box, you're going to need to have a bandsaw. That's just the way it works. And you're also going to need to set it up correctly. One of the things that you need to consider is the size of your bandsaw blade. This is a quarter inch bandsaw blade, which is about perfect for the curves that we're cutting here. Now, if you're going to make your own box and it has smaller, tighter curves, you might need to go down to a 3 16 or even an eighth inch bandsaw blade. Now, whatever size bandsaw blade that you choose to use, you need to make sure that the tension is properly adjusted. Now, I'm one of those guys who believes that more tension is better, but there are lots of experts that would disagree with me. Once you have everything set up the way you want it, download our PDF that has the template on it, and then I like to attach it to the blank with spray adhesive. The first step is to cut around the entire outside of the box. Go slowly, cutting just outside of the line on the template. The next thing after you've cut the shape out, I find that it's easier to sand it when this is a solid block rather than after I've cut these out and re-glued it. So that's what we're going to do now. With the outside of the box sanded, now it's time to cut out our first drawer. Now take care to cut to the inside of the line that you see drawn on the template and also to the best of your ability, make this a single smooth cut. Now that you've got this drawer removed, we're getting to the key to what makes a bandsaw box. What I'm going to do next is slice off a face here and the back of the drawer here. Then I'm going to cut out the waist from the inside and then I'm going to glue those, that front and the back, back on. And then you'll have a drawer for your bandsaw box. Let me show you how I do that. With the sides sliced off, I roughly outlined the waste removal segment of the drawer. It doesn't need to be perfect, but do remember that with this particular bandsaw box, there's an upper and lower drawer and the waste comes out of different sides of the core. Now that you've cut out your first drawer, we need to close this joint back up, re-glue it. I like to do that before I cut out the second drawer because it makes the whole assembly more stable. Now you can use any kind of glue that you like, but I like to use CA glue for this because it's faster. And I use an accelerator to speed up the process. Once I close this joint, I use packing tape as a, as a clamp to keep it closed. Now with the sides cut off and the core removed, it's time to glue this, the sides back on. I'm going to use CA glue again, and I'm always amazed at how the seams almost completely disappear when I do this. So here we go.
So that's it. I've just shown you the basics of making just about any bandsaw box. Now, we didn't go into the details of making the base or any of the sanding or finishing, but I think you can figure that out, especially from the downloadable PDF plans that we have. I hope you found this interesting, and I hope it inspires you to make some bandsaw boxes of your own. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.